What if the next annual dues vote doesn't pass? The annual dues are allocated between the operating fund and the restricted capital reserves fund. The operating fund, that's your staffing and service levels, and the capital reserves fund, that's for the asset repairs and replacements. And there's only so much money to go around. So if the proposal doesn't pass, we still need to maintain our critical assets like our roads, but we'll have to look at uh, lessening the operating fund and shifting more money over to the capital reserves fund. That means a further reduction in staffing and service levels. Therefore, the board would need to consider the following, reducing the staffing levels we just discussed, which would then lead to further reducing service levels, such as mowing frequency, center island maintenance, which we would like to increase, street sweeping frequency, lagoon treatments, cleaning of facilities, street restriping, and so on. Also, we have to look at our assets. I mean, obviously we need the roads, but are there amenities and assets that require expenditures for maintenance or replacement that are, again, nice to have, but not need to have? Playground equipment, it's just about at the end of its useful life. So do we have the money to replace it and even improve it, or do we need to remove it? Uh, what about the Marsh Tower? McWhorter Bridge is due for an extensive redecking uh, within the next few years and then replacement further out. It's a nice convenience to have and would love to keep it. Um, then you have other bridges, including lagoon bridges, monument signs and directional signs, picnic tables or other outdoor seating, security cameras, sliding security gates, things like that will have to be explored.